Okay, the next thing is, is that it appears that it might be the screw here inside the bottom of the locomotive that either holds on the motor or it holds on the uh, body. I've taken the two small screws out that are in the back. Okay, we got the screws out. And we're bringing that motor out as carefully as possible. So, this uh, YouTube site and the title of the video is Why I Prefer ba Brass Locomotives by Matthew Purring. Uh, covers everything he does to tune up a lo locomotive. And we'll get that. Okay, hi YouTube. Let's see. I had a question about uh, why I prefer brass locomotives over plastic the other night in one of the chat forums I go to. And uh, I made this video in hopes of answering that question. Uh, this is... Well, one thing that you can see in this particular part of the video, that locomotive is moving in real time so slow. It's awesome. Of course, you don't run them that slow. Uh, it's even below prototype speed. But to get your locomotive to do that, you need to go to uh, tuning it up and uh, working at it. These are the springs that he uses uh, when he uh, replaces them on the drivers of the locomotive. And they allow the actual drivers, they're, they're weaker than the original springs, and they allow the drivers to actually move up and down when it encounters a, a piece of ballast on the track or something of that sort which prevents the locomotive from breaking contact uh, from the rails. So here you see the Northwest Short Line page and the number, the light spring, the 1411-4 package of 100. Record. Okay. Right now, I'm installing the springs here you can see the, the springs I'm putting them on the drivers But that's what they look like. Oop, just dropped one. Okay, that's what they look like. So what I'm doing right now is taking, uh, I just took the motor out. I already did two of them. And now I'm taking the cover off of the gearbox because that's the next one I'm going to do and we'll go from there so just bear with me and uh, we'll get to it so now that I got the cover off I need to take a picture of the, how it goes in there And you can see right here is the drive gear. And uh, 
everything looks pretty good so far. So I have this driver to do and this driver to do. And I have to take this bottom plate off to get them out of there. And I have to be very careful because they're all spring-loaded. <laughs> so, another fun thing. So now I have the cover off. And to get the, I, I've already disconnected the links. And if I'm lucky, there we go. See, this one comes right out, like so, with the gear on it. And underneath, You can just barely see where the springs are underneath. I hope you can see that. If not, it won't be in the video. Okay, so. So far, so good. Place the okay, that's the old one. It's hard as a rock. So, 
went in the back to my other workshop and got a piece of fuel line tubing and just simply cut off a small piece and put it in the locomotive and it works perfectly. Then these are the springs I got for this locomotive. These are the 1410-4 Northwest Short Line Wimpy Spring which is the next one down from the 1401-4 Light Spring and uh, they both both work quite well. And I'm going to try to do this without you can see with the wimpy spring this uh, screwdriver will go right underneath there and lift up the, the wheel independently of the other wheel.